Ask a black guy. Me. I was posed a question on Facebook by a longtime friend. Hi, Tilly. Uh, why do black guys like white women? So I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna do you guys a favor, because uh, a lot of you niggas out there need to hear this. I'm gonna actually take the question a step further, and then give you my spin. Um, why do black men chase women of other races? Period. Well, culturally, a lot of these other races, and we're going to get into our own African American culture, and so we're going to kind of tie this in together. So, what I need you guys to do, if you're out here watching it, especially you black women, because you black women are going to be watching this, before you get mad, before you throw shit at the computer screen, before you get on my Facebook page and, and call me all kind of names and you tweet and, and whatever, you talk shit, listen to the whole thing first, please. Can you do that for me? I appreciate that. A lot of these women from these other cultures, if you look at their cultures, typically their cultures are male dominated cultures. The Europeans, the Asians, whatever, what have you, Hispanic. These cultures are male dominated cultures. When you have a, a male dominated culture, a lot of times the women uh, from these cultures, they're trained up in a way that they they res will respect their man. Maybe not respect is the right word, um, but socially, they they have roles, and their role is their social role is to take care of their man, uh, and whatever uh, pertains to taking care of him. They, I mean, pretty much they do it. So a lot of times you, you meet these women from these other cultures, especially the ones that aren't like super Americanized. Um, they'll cook for you. They'll clean up after you, suck your dick no problem, give up the booty no problem. A lot of times, um, he's talking to a lot of niggas that I know and my own experience with black women. Again, please do not get mad. A lot of black women um, have this superhero attitude. Like, I'm, I don't need a man. I don't need you for shit. I don't need you to do nothing. I, I can do everything on my own type shit. It's like this whole superwoman take charge attitude so if you find a, uh, one that does that cooks and cleans for you which is rare sorry um, a lot of times it comes with a lot of lip a lot of back talking and, and all that kind of shit why is it that way you gotta ask yourself uh, where do these biases of black, about black women being loud being in a relationship, I'm talking about, we're not talking about everything else, we're just talking about in a relationship with another man, being loud, uh, being controlling, uh, trying, to, you know, trying to be, or sometimes very dominant, not even trying to be, just dominant, uh, competing for the top spot in the, in the relationship, or not really trying to share, trying to run the show. You, you kind of want to ask yourself, uh, where do these biases come from? Because when you, when you, a lot of times when you hear biases, a lot of times, I mean, it's not the PC thing to, to say, but a lot of biases have some truth to them. Well, let's look at our African American culture. We have no culture. If you, if you look at, we were when we before we were slaves in Africa. If you, if you, if you meet, if you've ever had a chance to sit down with people from Africa, you realize that their culture is, for the most part, very male oriented, male dominated. So a lot of times the women, like Af actually African women, they're very quiet, uh, they're very meek, they cook clean, the whole shit. So what happened? When we came over here as slaves, um, the whole, whole culture was totally broken down. Um, the men, the dominant men, like those, those real strong alpha males, those were the dudes who were out there working in the fields. And if you were real strong and, and all that kind of stuff, a lot of times you were uh, being sent, sold, traded, all that kind of shit. So you had kids. If you had kids with another slave on the plantation, uh, chances are you didn't get to raise your kid. Chances are, especially if you were like really strong and a really good worker, uh, chances are you may not have ever seen your kids. There's a good chance that you could have been sent to another plantation and never, ever, ever seen your kids. If you were a strong woman, uh, and if you weren't light complected, a lot of times you all you also were working in the fields, 
are going or being traded or are being humped on by master and traded and all that kind of shit. So but the majority of the time, the children of these slaves were raised by an elderly woman, Big Mama. Um, and we, we kind of see a lot of that in our culture today. So uh, our culture went from a, a patriarch to a matriarch where you have the, that, that elderly woman uh, as the foundation of our family. That's not a bad thing, but this is what happens when you have the, the woman as the foundation. Um, the social roles kind of get messed up because now, well, it's not even that they get messed up. This is what niggas don't like. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with the matriarch. There's nothing wrong with um, the woman being the cornerstone of your culture. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But this is the thing: niggas don't want to deal. There's certain shit that niggas don't want to deal with. When you, when you have cultures where women are the cornerstone, a lot of these women are uh, self-empowered. And again, there's nothing. That's that's actually a good quality. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being self-empowered. There's nothing wrong with being a go-getter. There's nothing wrong with being very vocal. There's there's nothing wrong with being competitive. But when when in conjunction with a, in a relationship where there's supposed to where there needs to be a give and take and sometimes well there needs to be a lead in a relationship I mean, two heads can't run the ship and a lot of times when you get with women from uh, cultures that are uh, typically dominated by women a lot of times they're trying to be the chief too everybody can't be the chief so you bump heads and a lot of times the, the stigmas attached to black women about them being very vocal very dominant and all that kind of stuff in a relationship, I mean, pretty much that's where it comes from. And that's what it is. And it's funny because a lot of you niggas out here, these women out here, you worried about Becky taking your man. And, and white women are pretty much, uh, they've gotten used to niggas. Like every, pretty much white women who are into niggas now, they kind of know our tricks and our little schemes now. So they act more like black women than, um, than a lot of black women. Let's be real, you all. You know what I mean? Uh, the woman <laughs> y'all should really be checking for is Miss New Yen. You looking for Becky? It's Miss New Yen. Typically in the, these Asian cultures, it's like it's not cool to mess with the black guys. You can't take niggas home for shit in the cultures, but like now, it's like 2011. Like niggas, is, Asian people is trying niggas out and they're liking it. So you looking at you looking at Becky and it's Miss New Yen. You know what I mean? And that's looking at checking a nigga out type shit. So what do you do? There, there, there's nothing as if you're a black woman and you're watching this, you're like, man, well, man, niggas, are you just saying niggas don't want to fuck with me type shit? Because I'm black and because of, of that type of shit you're saying? Like, what do I do about that? There's really nothing you can do about that. You, It's, it's better to understand it. Um, You can still be that strong vocal woman um it's about learning it's lear it's all about timing there, there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with being strong there's nothing wrong with being hard working there's nothing wrong with being a multi a multitasker because a lot of women especially african american women are strong they they they're multitaskers they're super women they 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 take charge women they do everything they cook and clean, take care of their children, take care of their husbands, take care of the house. Because culturally, like I said, that's who typically did everything. The mom, the woman who was the mom, the dad, took care of the house, washed the kids, everything. Typically it was, was big mama. And, and that kind of, that's trickled down into our culture and we still kind of see that today. Um, it's about timing. It's, it's not always okay, you know what I mean, to be... With anybody, you, you know, like even if you're not even talking about relationships, about your job. I mean, you you just can't go bad on your boss anytime you feel like it. There's a time and place for everything. Uh, really, that's all I got to say about that. I'm hoping you niggas don't get too mad. I try not to say nothing too crazy, but try to keep it solid at the same time. So, an black man.